good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to the channel and a new episode for the unboxed series uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new here this is a small channel but the squad is growing so as i promised in the last video we'll be covering a couple pieces from the yeezy gap balenciaga collab <laughs> Okay, so I'm sure at the time this video goes up, it's old news by now, but with the collaboration being terminated, and this came up in my group chat, but does it make the collection lose or gain value since the pieces will stop being produced? So if you have a think piece, please feel free to share it. Moving along outside of the gap pieces, I got a couple mainline Rick Owen items also. So if you watched my last two videos, most of my clothing pieces were Uniqlo based. But in today's video, we'll be getting back to the aesthetic I'm probably more known for and feel the most comfortable wearing. Basically my uniform for lack of words. Okay, I'm gonna try and move a little bit fast today. So if it seems like I'm in a rush, it's because I am. Um, I have about literally 24 hours before my flight to Japan and I need to pack um, all of the items that I'm actually gonna be unboxing today. So if I miss any details, I do apologize. Let's move into the first piece. Okay, as I promised, this is the first DZ Gap item that I'll be covering. Here we have the logo No Seam T. This shirt is extremely heavy, double layered, but the material is also extremely soft, so I appreciate that. I would hold it up for a second, but as you can see, this shirt is very, very wide. It's covering up the whole table, and there is a slight crop to it also. Now, I know there's like a thousand reviews on the Easy Gap collab online, but I think most of the people reviewing pieces online, as far as tops go, they either choose the large Gap logo tee or the Gap logo hoodie um, with the dove on the back. So my problems with those pieces in particular is I'm not a big huge fan of the graphic on the front, even though Gap logo is a classic and I'm not a huge fan about the dove being on the back of the shirt either. And I feel as if those graphics will make the pieces less timeless, but that's just my opinion but overall um i really do think that the design could have stood on its own without any graphics on it and even though we still have a small gap logo i'm hearing some of these logos are rubbing off so i wouldn't be hurt if my logo actually rubs off also but i really feel like this piece will collide into my wardrobe very easily I went ahead and acquired this because I was impressed with the linear shape of the bag itself. I'm not against the tote trend, but I've never been crazy about tote bags, at least from a fashionable perspective. So as I said earlier, it's 24 hours before my flight to Japan, um, but my goal is to use this bag during the trip when I'm going out. I do plan on vlogging while I'm out there, so this is perfect to carry a small tripod, camera, pocket Wi-Fi, essentials uh, for the most part. But the bag itself, uh, the full design isn't overly complex. One full length zipper. Okay. And when you open it up, you are welcome to a Yeezy logo in blue. There is an interior pocket as well. As far as the shape, the volume increases towards the bottom. And one little tidbit is there is an exterior pocket on the interior of the bag on the outside. So I think I made a good choice. The previous bag I'd used for traveling was actually a chest bag. I will still use it, but depending on what I'm wearing, the bag would pretty much distort certain outfits because it literally wraps around my chest and my shoulders, which can be unflattering if I'm like wearing an oversized top. So where else I think the snake bag would be less intrusive. So I'm gonna play a few seconds of B-roll on how you could actually style this.
we are now moving into our mainline Rigon's pieces, all purchased from Essence. All right, the first shirt, um, we have this double layered sleeveless tee and dust. Now, right before I bought this piece, my mother-in-law was telling us how Japan was having one of its hottest summers in years, and I thought um, I might run into some of that heat, even though we're approaching fall, or we're actually in fall. But the weather is actually cooling down, so that may not be the case. Hopefully, I'll still get a chance to wear this. But the piece itself is pretty simple. Um, it's a very lightweight, uh, breathable jersey cotton. I like that the tee is double layered. It gives off this unique draping effect, which pretty much pairs well with the Rick lounge pants. I found that it's easier to kind of stack the tee and take advantage of the drapes that it's doing when you pair the tee with like a, a cotton bottom. Whereas if I wore, wear these with the leather uh, jogging pants that I have, it sort of just falls straight down. But either way, I like both looks. Moving into the second tee, we have another double layer t-shirt, um, but it's in white with short sleeves instead. I don't want to be too redundant, uh, literally the same material and fit as the sleeveless tee, but with the addition of literally short sleeves. I knew the sleeveless piece would be very seasonal, you know, according to the weather. So I made sure to at least grab a short sleeve that I could rely on as another option, you know, in terms of styling. But both of these shirts are very slim fitting, but they are stretchy. So if you want to alter the shape um, slightly for your body type, you can. And they should pair well with the next items I'm gonna be showing you. Moving into the next piece, I have these insane cashmere Rick Owen track pants. Now I know I own the Berlin lounge pants, which I love and pretty much live in them, but I wanted an alternative option. So outside of the fabric obviously being different, these being cashmere, these are cut a lot different than the Berlin lounge pants as well. A few details being the bottom of the pants cuffs. Uh, these actually feature a ribbing around the bottom of them. Also, these have a drop inseam. I don't think it's super exaggerated where I will call these drop crotch pants, but they do have a drop inseam. And another big thing to point out is these actually have no pockets uh, with these pants at all. So if I'm not wearing a jacket with pockets or the cargo baskets themselves, then I would try to utilize the Yeezy Gap snake bag. So that's just an example of me building an ecosystem of clothing pieces that can just all work together. Secondly, with these being cashmere, an even softer and more delicate fabric, while I'm wearing these, the fabric just kind of falls straight down, um, giving off a more relaxed look. And I'm still experimenting with different outfits with these pants, but so far, I do prefer wearing these with the cargo baskets. For when I pair these pants with a sneaker, they definitely give off a cozy athleisure look, which I'm also okay with.
moving into our last and final piece. So here we have the mainline Mastodon cargo pants. These are just crazy and they are a lot heavier than you would expect um, because there's actually a lot of hardware incorporated into this piece. Now I got these in the dust colorway. I kind of wanted black, but they didn't have my size. But one thing I would say about the dust colorway, a lot of the details um, seem to be more visible with these. So just to tour the cargoes really quick, uh, you can see we have the legendary drawstrings right up front. These pants are cotton, sorry, certified organic jersey cotton. Moving along to the button fly, we do get not just three buttons, but three metal buttons. If you recall the Berlin pants from Dark Shadow, um, those utilize plastic buttons instead. Moving down to the cargo pockets, the main flap, you can open it up. And this is the main compartment. On the face of the pocket, there is these Rick zippers, Rick on zippers. And this is an, an entirely separate section. So definitely a highlight of the pants itself. We also get an additional uh, four standard pockets. So in the position here towards the front, as well as two snap pockets at the back. I'm sure these will be easy to blend into my wardrobe and they'll be a great addition uh, to the utilitarian look itself. Okay guys, thank you for watching as always. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, in the next video, you can expect to see the very first vlog for this channel. So if I don't see you in the next one, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving me, yeah. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be done, then I be running to you. It's a runner that I'm scared, but I'm calling you boo. Please don't ghost me, love me, hug me, hold me, see me, grow me. I see whole thing, bragging, boasting. To all of my Working on my pride, I've been working on my pride, yeah. I've been really scared, but then really trying, yeah. Never bite my tongue when there's something on my mind, yeah. Baby, you a gem, I never leave you undermined, yeah. Prayers just a phase, and we get it back in line, yeah.